All right, this is our uh, Veterans Park. Uh, in front of us there is the Blue Star Memorial. Uh, I believe that was started in 1945 uh, by uh, the Garden Club, and the Blue Star represents uh, the star they used to hang in the windows if your uh, uh, family member was a uh, in a service. So that's where the Blue Star came from. I think there's 8,000 of those spread out through the United States. But I'm going to take a walk here. Those are the flags flying, representing each of the uh, branches of service. There's our park ID sign. Sorry, there's snow on the ground. We've gotten a snowstorm, I think, once a week since uh, December. It's usually very uh, pretty with, with flowers. Beds, uh, flower beds throughout the, uh, the park site. There's the base of the American flag. There's a memorial rock dedicated to uh, all of the service dogs. Sorry, the snow has got that covered. Here are the different branches. Along with the flag, there's the army. Nice little monument. And the bricks are kind of covered up, but that's where the army uh, bricks go to. Next is the Marines, along with the flagpole uh, right behind it with the Marine flag. There's the Navy. Here's the Air Force. And there's the Coast Guard. And so far, no memorial bricks for the Coast Guard. We've got a few for the Air Force. Quite a few for the Navy. A couple more for the Marines and, and uh, again quite a few uh, for the Army. But I wish I had these uh, in the ground but with things are frozen. There's the three bricks. There's Uncle Bill's. There's Uncle Floyan's. And there's Dad's. So the two Navy bricks will sit here in front of the monument. Uncle Bill's will be over by the uh, by the army. They turned out real nice. Again, if the ground was uh, thawed, I'd have them in place. But as soon as that happens, uh, I'll uh, reshoot this. I think those will look nice.